Have you decided it's time to add a canine to your family dynamics, but you're unsure on what breed to get? Well, in today's video, we're gonna compare the differences between the Leon Burger and the Akita. Welcome back to the Fenrir Leonberger Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Leonberger Show. So let's dive in and start with the history of both of these canines. First, let's look at the history of the Akita. The Akita is a breed originating from Japan and they're descendants of spitz type dogs. However, the Akita as we know them today were fine tuned in the 17th century. The Akita was developed from decades of selective breeding. They were bred to become a versatile hunting dog. The Akita hunted yizo bears, deer and boar in packs and were built to have strong work ethic. The Akita was so highly thought of that they were once only allowed to be owned by the imperial family and their court. There have been a few occasions where the Akita has come close to extinction. To ensure they didn't become extinct, an Akita Japanese breed club was formed in 1927. The Akita plays a big part in Japanese culture. They're part of many myths and legends. In fact, it is tradition in Japan that when a child's born, the parents will receive a small figurine of an Akita. This symbolizes long life and happiness. Next, the history of the Leonberger. The Leonberger originates from the German town of Leonberg. They were created by the mayor, Henry Jessig, and bred to look like the lion on the coat of arms of Leonberg. They acted as watchdogs and farm dogs used to pull carts. They were created by crossing three breeds in Newfoundland, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog and the Barry de Manchretter. They were first registered as a breed in 1846 and soon became popular across the continent, especially amongst various European royal families. In the 20th century, the breed was fine tuned to the image of the Leonbergers we are familiar with today. The biggest challenge to the existence of the breed was the First and Second World War. After the first First World War only five Leonbergers survived and they had been abandoned by owners who'd fled the war and left alone by others who had been killed. Left to fend for themselves many didn't survive. Numbers grew between the wars and they were put to use pulling ammunition carts during the Second World War however this again almost led to extinction. However this again almost led to extinction with only eight surviving the battles. As numbers were so few after the war lovers of the breed are now able to trace the history of them back to the surviving eight. They've since made their way from mainland Europe to other areas around the world. They used as water rescue dogs in Canada. They were first registered by the UK Kennel Club in 1978, but not registered with the American Kennel Club until 2010, becoming the 167th recognised breed. The Akita is very muscular and are known to have a regal appearance. They have a double coat that requires grooming twice a week with a wide pin brush or a ferminator. Their coat blows twice a year too. Extra grooming around this time can help with shedding. Male Akitas stand up to 28 inches or 71 centimetres and weigh up to 130 pounds or 59 kilograms. Females stand up to 26 inches or 66 centimetres and weigh up to 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. The Akita has a broad head, deep muzzle, erect ears which are carried forwards, dark eyes, straight legs and a tail that curls up over their backs. The breed comes in many different colours including black, red, white, fawn, brown, brindle, silver and black overlay, red and black overlay, fawn and black overlay and fawn and brown overlay. There are many other colours too but they're not accepted by the Kennel Club standards. The Leonberger is a very strong muscular breed that has a broad head, medium sized ears that hang close to the head, strong legs and a long fluffy tail that hangs low. Leonbergers come in seven colour varieties including including black, brown, grey, cream, red, sable and brindle. Leonbergers of any of these colours should all have a black facial mask. They have a dense double coat that should be brushed every two to three days to keep their coat looking sleek and clean. As we've touched upon in their history, their appearance is similar to a lion. This was bred to resemble the lion and the coat of arms for the town which they got their name. This large breed reaches their full adult size at the age of one, despite not being fully matured until the age of three. They grow to a height of 31 inches or 78 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 100 50 pounds or 68 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller, weighing up to 140 pounds or 63 kilograms and, st and standing an inch smaller at a minimum of 30 inches or 76 centimeters at the withers. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know that we have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. It's where I've boiled down and condensed all of my skill set, experience and knowledge in raising perfect puppies into this mini course. Like I say, it is completely free. If you 
are interested in checking it out or just want some more information, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you are interested, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. The Akita is a tough and hardy breed that doesn't get scared easily or back down from challenges. They're particularly loyal towards their family and protect them. The Akita is an affectionate breed when they're in their own territory with people they know. They love to be with their family and will often follow them around the house. However, they can be stubborn and certainly know their own minds. This is why obedience and managed training is essential alongside socialisation. Training can be difficult due to their stubbornness. It's important that you use positive reinforcement and plenty of treats and praise. They also require calm, consistent training and need a good leader to look up to for guidance and direction. They can make good guard dogs as they'll not just bark for the sake of it, they'll only bark to alert you to visitors or something that's out of the ordinary. The Akita can be quiet and distant and reserved with new people they meet. They prefer to sit back and assess the situation before making any interactions with the new person. They're a mouthy breed and love to carry anything that'll fit into their mouth. This is something to be aware of. The Akita requires around an hour of exercise a day to split into two 30 minute walks. It's important that as well as physical stimulation they also need need mental stimulation as a border keto can become very easily destructive. The Leonberg is perfectly suited to families with an active lifestyle. They themselves are moderately active and need a good hour of exercise each day. They love swimming, running and will even join you on hikes. If you're not overly active you can help them burn off some energy by getting them involved in dog sports. They excel at these so try them at agility, dog diving, treble or sledding. Leonbergers require a calm, consistent leader to look up to for guidance. It can be a stubborn breed to train as they want to do their own thing on their own terms. The best method for training this breed is positive reinforcement and the occasional treat helps too. Socialisation, as we say with all dogs, is extremely important. Leonbergers can become nervous or aggressive when not socialised properly, but when well socialised, they'll become polite and well-rounded dogs. The Akita is very loving towards their family and this includes children. They'll make excellent playmates for children. However, just be careful with them and small children as they are big dogs and they could accidentally knock over small kids. Also any interactions should always be supervised. The Akita can however have issues with other dogs, especially with dogs the same sex as them. This is why socialisation is essential and should be started as soon as you get your new puppy home. You should socialise them to as many different sights, sounds, smells, people and different animals as possible. They also have a high prey drive so it's maybe best to have them in a household where they're the only pet. The Leonberg is a gentle giant of a dog. It's both loyal and affectionate with its family. Being a gentle giant, they're great with children but you should always show caution around little ones as their large size can potentially cause injury to smaller children when playtime gets too excitable. As with most breeds it's important to teach your children how to treat and approach your puppy and respect them when having some quiet time on their own. They generally get on well with animals but they can become aggressive if not socialised properly. You should socialise your Leonberger with as many different dogs and animals as you can from puppyhood to ensure they live harmoniously with other animals. Although it's still advised not to leave them alone with any smaller animals as accidents can happen. A Akitas are not best suited to first time dog owners due to their strong personality and if you're looking for a lap dog then they are not the dog for you either. Although like the Leon Burger they're affectionate and loyal to their owners but they don't mix with other dogs and pets. Both these beautiful breeds would make an excellent choice of companion but be sure you can handle them before committing to ownership. Well I hope you enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Leon Burger videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Leonberger Show.